Hey there, Keto fam. Keto Kelly just getting her done. Happy Friday and Vlogist Day 3. So, uh, I just posted my Feed Me Friday uh, video for the shrimp stir fry with chili oil. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll get some uh, views on that and then make that a, a thing for me, a new series for me. So please, go watch it. Alright. Big old bowl of chicken wings. I'm feeling like chicken wings today. I got my oven set for 350. Oh no, wait, stop. See, I'm jumping the gun. They're still a little frozen. I am going to spray this because I don't have the non-stick uh, aluminum foil. So I'm gonna, I picked this up at Aldi's. It's just an olive oil spray. Way cheaper than, you know, the name brand stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this down real good as it lunars everywhere. Now I can put the wings on there. Right. I am pre-baking these. I am eventually going to put them in the air fryer to crisp them up. But I kind of like to pre-bake them a little bit. Don't get them like all the way through cooked. Well, for the most part, all the way through cooked. But, uh, and then I'll hit them at the end with uh, the air fryer. Hopefully this will stick. You know what? Let me hit that with some oil on top. Just some pepper. Salt. Little bit of garlic. My always go to's. And I'm going to hit it with a little bit of this Nashville hot seasoning. I am going to bake these for about 45 minutes. And I'm also going to take the leftover shrimp that I had the other day. There's a few here. Let me count them. And I'm going to add them to the rest of this hot chili oil that I made. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight more. I'll go ahead and stir them around. Oh, that looked like one of my hairs floating in there. Probably was. I'm going to let these set in this chili oil, and then I'm just going to go ahead and, and sear them off and eat them with the wings. And I'm going to let them set, like kind of do a marinade in that uh, chili oil while the wings are baking. And I'll go ahead and stick that in the oven. I'm also going to pull out another block of Kerrygold cheese because I made... Oh, jeez. <sighs> Kerrygold butter. I make my own buffalo sauce. And I'll go do that if you guys have never seen my uh, Super Bowl video. I think I made uh, buffalo sauce in that video. So I'll go ahead and pull out a block of Kerrygold butter. I'll let that thaw out. And then we'll come back in and I'll go ahead and hit these in the air fryer. I'll mix up my buffalo sauce, sear these off, and that'll be the first meal for me today. It is almost noon. Uh, I may do just a, a simple bacon, eggs, and an avocado for my last meal of the day, guys. So hang on for that.
Okay, everybody, I am back. It's been about 45 minutes. It's a quarter to one right now. And right behind you, I have seven wings in my air fryer. I showed you a, a quick clip of the wings. I flipped them, reseasoned them, put them back in maybe 10 minutes. Just enough to uh, get them about three quarters of the way done. They'll finish cooking in the air fryer. Right here I have two tablespoons of the, where the heck is it? Of the Marie's Chunky Blue Cheese plus two tablespoons of my homemade ranch dressing in here. They're great together, they really are. On my stove I got some olive oil heating up. I want the pan to be fairly hot to sear off these shrimp real quick. So let's do that. These marinated really nice guys. I have my wings set for about three minutes on one side. I'll flip them over and do another three minutes on the other side. These are going to be amazingly good. I love shrimp. I love seafood in general. I'm from Maine, so, you know, give me a lobster any day. This is going to be a spicy meal today, everybody. I'm not mad at it. Not mad at all. Yummy! That'll do the rest it for the rest of that chili oil. I'll definitely make more. I pulled out one of the bottles of water that I refilled yesterday and froze. This is what I'll be drinking. And when I finish that, I'll go ahead and fill it and put it back in the freezer. Also, you saw me making buffalo sauce. I will toss these wings in it when they're done in the air fryer. I'll go ahead and cook these off real quick. And then I'll show you guys the end result for that. And I'll probably do a speed up of the bacon, eggs, and avocado for my last meal of the day, guys. Okay. Okay, everybody, here is the last meal for the day right here. Just one fried egg, three slices of bacon, and one very small avocado. But um, I only ended up eating two of those chicken wings because my fear has always been is that they're a little rubbery. So, and they were. Any kind of frozen wings you get are a little rubbery. I actually prefer to get the fresh wings and go ahead and um, mm -hmm. cut the wings that out themselves and um, do it that way. But you always run into that when you uh, buy frozen wings. So that's all right. They were still good. Um, the shrimp was off the chain delicious. Uh, I actually ended up dipping the shrimp into the um, blue cheese dip and the ranch that I had mixed, which was really good. So I'll go ahead and add up the macros for this i'm going to be way over on fat and under protein and way under on uh 
carbs. So, all right, guys, um, I'm going to go a few days without an iced coffee and see if that may be what has stalled me a little bit because I do use about two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and a tablespoon of the um, pure sweetener. So I'm going to go ahead and not have one of those for a few days and see if that's what's been uh, either adding to my weight or stalling me out. So, all right, I'm going to enjoy this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and give you a... A quick close-up of this and I will see you tomorrow this will end vlogus day number three so all right guys have a fantastic weekend I will come in tomorrow and I well I'll do every day of this month <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try to do every day of this month so all right guys love you so much and I'll see you tomorrow bye